The month of June will see the return of live racing to Fort Erie Racetrack. It will also see the return of At The Post here on your TV on Thursday nights at eight o'clock. From the racetrack, let's welcome Antonetta Kulik. Finally, we can announce live racing back at Fort Erie Racetrack. A few changes though, can you go over those changes? Season is starting on, on Tuesday, June 2nd. Uh, you know, one week later than planned, but we're still really excited to get going. Uh, the biggest change, I think, is going to be the fact that we're not racing to fans right now. So, unfortunately, uh, you know, the, the province gave racing the, the go-ahead, the green light to go ahead and race, but we're not allowed to have spectators. So that is going to be uh, really sad, I think. It's going to be really strange to see the grandstand uh, completely empty. And uh, I know a lot of our, our regulars and are looking forward to, you know, the start of racing. I think a lot of people are really going to miss it. So that's the biggest change right now. Uh, the other change uh, is going to be our, our race dates. So normally we race on a Sunday, Tuesday schedule. We have our Twilight Tuesdays at night. Uh, we're actually switching to Mondays and Tuesdays this year. The reason being, uh, because we're not going to have fans. And Tanetta, is there any change in the size of the purses for the races because of the changes? Everything will be the same as, uh, as it has been in previous years. We're only losing one race day, which is good. Purse-wise, everything will continue to be the same. Are horses back in the stables, getting ready, testing out the track yet? When everything shut down, uh, care for animals, including horses, was, was considered an essential service. So our backstretch has been open for the care of the horses. Uh, they've been allowed to be out on the track uh, simply exercising, just you know, stretching their legs, because that's essential to their health and well-being. As soon as the announcement was made that uh, racing would be able to start again, they've been now able to do uh, more intense workouts. Uh, so starting gate training, they can do timed workouts now. So we've we've had horses in the backstretch kind of all along, but now they're able to really uh, start to prepare for racing, which is good. Big change to the Prince of Wales stakes as well this year? Yeah. The Prince of Wales is part of the Canadian Triple Crown. Uh, it's the second race behind the Queen's Plate at Woodbine. So um, when Woodbine wasn't able to, to start racing on time, they pushed back the Canadian Triple Crown series. They're running September 12th, and the Prince of Wales stakes will be September 29th. It'll be interesting this year. We're really, really hoping by that point we'll be able to have fans because, I mean, it's our biggest day and, and it's a, a race that a lot of people love. So it'll be really sad not to have people there, but it's going to run regardless. It's an important race uh, to Canadian horse racing uh, history, so we're going to make sure that it runs. Can we talk about the general importance of Fort Erie Racetrack to the economy in the city of Fort Erie? We employ, typically on an average year, uh, you know, without coronavirus, we uh, employ about 200 uh, seasonal and full-time employees. In the backstretch, there's far more than that. I think now that we're down to just essential people in the backstretch, I know there's over 250 people who go in every day. They care for the horses, they exercise them, they train them. You're looking at, at, at minimum, I would say, 500 people who make their, you know, um, living from, from the racetrack. Plus, on top of that, there's other places like, you know, uh, that supply fee, that supply hay, all of that sort of stuff who are impacted by the racetrack. So unfortunately, uh, the fact that we're not open to fans means we are going to be down some people, which is going to be really sad. Uh, you know, we're, we're missing a lot of our four year racetrack family, unfortunately, but, um, you know, hopefully things will turn around and we'll be able to bring them back and, you know, bring back fans. Like most sporting events, it's really hard to imagine running these races without fans in the stands. Part of the excitement when the horses cross the finish line is hearing the you know the roar of the crowd, right? So I think it's going to be really strange. There's hopefully a light at the end of this tunnel, right? Eventually we'll have those fans back, and I think when we do, it's going to be really exciting, and uh, you know they're going to love it. So we do expect that there may still be some physical distancing regulations involved. Things that we've been putting into place, for example, right now everyone's having to wear a mask. That might be something that continues on when we do open up to fans. Uh, you know, our grandstand, or our, sorry, our, our concession stands, you know, we'll probably have to do a lot of physical distancing. Uh, you know, we've been training employees because, uh, you know, some of them are working, you know, how to properly um, wear a mask and all that sort of stuff. So we would have to do a lot of uh, training, put a lot of things into place. But yeah, we're, we're thinking, we're always, we're always looking at that, you know, how are we going to make things better? Because we, we have a really big venue, we, uh, which is good. You know, it gives people the opportunity to, to space out, which would be important. But at the same time, it's a lot of areas that we would have to implement some, you know, changes. So we're, we're planning. Monday, June 2nd, the first day of racing. What time and how can people watch? Tuesday, June 2nd. Oh, sorry, Tuesday, June 2nd. 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 Yeah. 
and uh, it starts at 1.20 p.m. You can watch online on our website. There's a, you know, a live stream available there. There's also, um, for those looking to wager, you can wager in Ontario through hpibet.com. So we'll have a link on our website available too to direct people that way. I suggest signing up in advance because it does take a few days to get everything kind of going. So uh, we're going to be putting out information on how to do that. But hpibet.com is, you know, how you sign up for, for wagering. And uh, they also live stream the product there as well. Perfect. Thanks for joining us today. And a reminder to our Your TV viewers that we will be running our highlights package at the post Thursday evenings at 8 o'clock. And Tanette Kulik, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me.